Shadows no, never in the front. Shadows always backside. Wow. Wow. Step is your meditation. This is the highest. This is the highest to feel in every moment of the life. Yeah. Last time, Gurdiv, we spoke about how close the Manjaris are to our Swamini. That they are more close than even the expansions of her. The gopis. There wow. is a... This is more oneness than the gopis has or the sakis. They are part and parcels. And uh, Suniti found in the Prima Bhakti, Bhakti Chantika one, one verse that confirms this. And uh, there is written, they, the Manjaris, they are all so present when Sri Radha Madhava have their intimate meetings to engage in their private service. At that time, the divine pair considered them the Avesha Murtis. Well, that means the embodiment of their ecstatic absorption. <clears throat> so, of their Rasika pastimes. Wow. Great. So, they are. So, find it. Read yes. the line again. Read the line again. They are also present when Sri Radha Madhava have their intimate meetings. They are there in the intimate meetings to engage in their private service. This service is even more private than the service of any gopi or sakhi. They are so close to Radhika, even in the most intimate moments, they are there to help. They are close, they are like one with Swamini. At that time, the divine pair considered them the Avesha Murtis. So the Manjaris are the Avesha Murtis or the embodiments of their ecstatic absorption. Wow. Of their Rasika pastimes. And thus, there is no reason for them to feel embarrassed. And only these manjaris are constantly in the company of the divine pair. They are the shadows. There are never, there is no place between Radhika and the Manjaris. They are like one. Yananda Maharaj, so beautiful, explain something, more details. <coughs> <laughs> what is that uh, Avesha Murti? That word, read again, Avesha Murti. Avesha Murti, the embodiment of the ecstatic absorption. 
Yes. These are the manjaris. They are the embodiment of the ecstatic absorption you of know, their rasika pastimes. We know this in material body also. They say bhava vesh comes to. Bhava vesh coming. Then ex symptom change in the body. They start madness. They can out of control of bodily consciousness. That is Bhavavesh. And this is Aveshamurti. Avesh means same, same time of Bhava becomes when thick, thicker. Mm. Oneness with mm. Swamana. This is Bhavavesh. Bhava Vishnu. The bhava is so thicker that it is not changing. Mm. Avesh become bhava vish. Bhava, bhava vish become avesh amut. Now I explain Jananda Mata. <clears throat> so I don't have any knowledge, but uh, like a uh, Yeah, but this all this means now today the five Radha's Radha Madhava, Radha Mohan's feeling or some kind of symptom like a guna or a dupa or a baba. Fatueba Radha Mohan has it's so condensed and they kind of deflect and they kind of become form. And also we may say kind of shadow because so similar. Like a Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari means Radha's lupa is condensed or kind of deflect into the lupa manjari's lupa. So if we see the lupa manjari lupa, everybody could remember Swamini's kind of lupa, face and forms. Like Lati manjari, Lati Manjari kind of deflection was kind of Radha's Lati, like a loving uh, feeling. That loving feel is called, so condensed and deflect as Manjari. So she knows the feeling of Radhika more. So therefore, Rati Manjari, Torashi Manjari, she can do so intimate seva <coughs> because she has, she knows Radha's Rati, Radha's Baba. Like Guna Manjari, Guna Manjari has Radha's Guna, Radha's quality, many quality Guna Manjari has. So this is kind of like a guru dev once said <clears throat> how our manjari swarupa coming out our feeling is so intense then like a, you know in in this material world if our desire is so intense then something happening so like so i want to go to brindava i want to go to brindava i i want to go to brindava and then that desire coming in true form so similarly <clears throat> guru dev was saying if our feeling is so intense then 
some or other that intense desire becoming like a form. This is spiritual body. <clears throat> because this Baba is so intense, so condensed, and then has to have some form. Like uh, if we have some desire to experience something, then some some kind, kind of drawing, Radha Mohan's drawing, sometimes our feeling so intense, some feeling become kirtan or some bhajan. That's I just hear Gora, Go, uh, Gora Sundara, our sister's the explanation. And then I just feel I like this. I have no realization good there. <laughs> If we feel our hearts, then I'm, if we feel this, what you speak about in our hearts, then we can also feel this success in our bath. If this is coming, then the heart becomes very intense. We can uh, even feel it uh, in a bodily uh, uh, situation and there we are now and if we come close to the Swamini we can feel this even in our material body then we can no yes and also we may say <clears throat> why we need Sajati Sangha why mm. need why need association of Guru Dev? Wow. Because because Radha's feeling reflect Rupa Manjari or Torashi Manjari, Rati Manjari. Huh? Wow. Similarly, this this reflection coming through Guru Parampara to Guru Dev. Wow. Then Guru Dev's kind of feeling reflect on a in a heart. Actually, what is parampara? What is parampara is just we received the feeling. Mm. Especially our, our Gaudiya Sampradaya. Gaudiya Sampradaya, because especially Rupa Nuga, we want to follow Rupa Manjari, who is Rupa Goswami. So, we want to we want to receive this this feeling from Guru Dev. Guru Dev says sometimes we steal this feeling. To steal that feeling, we need greed. Mm. Only qualification is greed. If someone does not have greed, means he does not have some does not have patra, enough patra, or he may have patra, but some hole is there. Patra means container. Mm -hmm. mm, container, best there. So sometimes say, oh, this, some we sometimes we say, oh, this devotee is so nice. He's like a creeper patra of Guru Dev. So, container of mercy. Yeah, container of mercy. And what is mercy? He can deceive the feeling of Guru Dev. I think this is uh, Shri Chaitanya Manobishta. What is Manobishta? What is the feeling of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? 
someone who receives this feeling, this is very fortunate. So we want to this we want to receive, we want to steal Guru Dev's feeling. Even though we may not qualify to do this. But if someone who is very greed, oh greed, oh Guru Dev, give me this feeling. Give me Radha Dasi's feeling. Give me Radha Rupanuga's feeling. Give me Rati Manjali's feeling. That's I just, you know, I was, I'm hearing Gora, Gora Sundara Baba's comment. I, I feel something like this. I can feel this, what you say, Jainanda, this closeness to other manjaris, what you say, Rati manjari. Or Rupa Manjari, when we uh, uh, meditate on Diksha Mantra, then they come to us and we come to them and we come very close, we become a relationship. And this is what you say by the mercy of the Guru. And we need this greed. No greed, no relationship. It's the same in the material world. If there is no creed, we cannot do these relationships. Hmm? Even in the family, if you have a daughter or a son, if there is no creed for this relationship, the relationship will not happen. There is empty. And if we like to get the relationship to our Manjari sisters who are there, we need uh, this greed and Gurudev is, is connecting us to them and doing everything, but we have to, to work on it every day more than one time. And then they come very close to us. They are, they come in the feelings. We can feel it. We maybe we cannot speak like we speak now together explain but the feelings coming very deep also reading book hearing book also we we could receive that feeling right right yeah if if we cannot receive feeling that reading is useless yeah <laughs> just just getting information that's good Dave's was you are useless to getting information. With, yeah. You know, if you don't feel this feeling. But in other words, if you can get the feeling, Guru Dev's feeling, then you don't need to do anything. Mm. Just to, you know, just increase that feeling, this go down. Just grow mm -hmm. that feeling. Wow. The, with the association with Sajati Sangha. Yeah. That is, I think, Guru Dev's teaching for us. Yeah. But this is so nice that we meet soon, Jainanda Maharaj. Yes. If you come, we can have this Sangha. This is so important. And we will meet all the devotees, all our brothers and sisters, and they are very happy when we come together. Yes. <laughs> so we are both sisters. So we want to share, you know, like a, like a lady's talk is, you know, so much fun. You know, sometimes a man's talk is very bored sometimes. <laughs> so nice. I like to read something to Gurudev and Radhika. Yeah. There is no bar higher than that of Radhika. There is 
no feeling deeper than that of Radhika. Yeah. There is no beauty more beautiful than that of Radhika. Ah. Wow. There is no young love more enthusiastic than that of Radhika. Ah. There is no embrace more touching than that of Radhika. Yeah. There is no kiss sweeter than that of Radhika. Ah. <laughs> she is Krishna's life and soul. And she is my all and one, my goal. Yeah. Jai Rade. Wow. Very brilliant. I write it this morning to my Swamini. Wow. This we can find only in our heart, not in the mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again. Again? There is no bath higher than that of Radhika. And there is no feeling deeper than that of Radhika. And no beauty is more beautiful than that of Radhika. And there is no young love more enthusiastic than that of Radhika. Yeah. There is no embrace more touching than that of Radhika. Wow. And there is no kiss sweeter than that of Radhika. Yeah. She is Krishna's life and soul. And she is my all and one, my goal. One time more because we have come now. <laughs> 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 for us, time, but there is nothing. One time for the Only we because are so we are so close, so close sisters. <laughs> I can <Yeah>. do. <laughs> there is no laugh higher than that of Radhika. No bar is higher than that of Radhika. Yeah. And there is no feeling deeper than that of Radhika. Uh -huh. There is no beauty more beautiful than that of Radhika. There is no young love more enthusiastic than that of Radhika. There is no embrace more touching than that of Radhika. There is no kiss sweeter than that of Radhika. She is Krishna's life and soul. And she is our all and one, our goal. Jai Rati. I don't know. I don't know. Where is this coming from? From heart. From heart.
ચોલીસની ચાવે મેડિટેટિંગ ઓન ઓન આવર દીક્ષાસ દેન then it comes very deep this is what gurudev said that it comes so concentrate mm. sometimes and this is all. sometimes we can put it in words but uh, many times we cannot find the words for this what we can feel by the touching of of them mm. when they touching us we call them and they touching us by the diksha mantras what is given by guru dev and his guru and his guru all these manjaris are waiting i can feel they are waiting they're waiting the words are coming from your heart by but they're coming i see also krishna on his knees in front of radha saying the same words nothing really? more beautiful than you Well, sure this will come in your picture you will come and pick when and the mother you will see as a father of us come and pick yes sir you are there is that they are is asking about all of you come here a big arrival uh-huh. <coughs> late but better see my kom yeah yeah maybe you would like to share or give your feelings today is a dark sundra day in feeling full of feeling i want to listen Gopinath is also feeling. We will also share something. You want to share something? Just thing, thank you. And when I, when I hear these kinds of words, when I feel these kinds of words in my meditations, I ask myself, to where, who is speaking these words? What's that voice? Where is it coming from in my heart? and that's why i think this is also the kind of thing that the uh, moan says when he's when he's there is watching this yeah that is happening what is happening mandiri they're feeling it they appreciate this beauty this is mandiri now when they come in the feeling that when it become condensed then it the material if the greed is not there feeling will not go if mohan kill, give a kiss to swamini we watching the scene and we can feel this kiss can you imagine mm. by the because we are more or less a part of swamini we are so close to her that we can feel everything and mm. we Bhav- can recognize this no yeah it's the mandari voice in us saying look look at the beauty look at the the loving nature of radha and mohan come to her come together with her when she embraces mohan we can feel this 
her love to him, we can feel this. And so we get something of this embrace. We feel this, what she is feeling and what he is feeling. This is more than, um, yeah, it's not easy to bring it in words. It is a feeling. If you get embraced by someone, this is a feeling. Now, someone embraces you and as more love is in the embrace, as more you can feel. And this is not a thing what you can bring so easily in the words, what your heart is feeling by this embracing or by, by this kissing or whatever. And this is up to uh, lusty desires in the material world. This embrace and this kiss is real love. And this is chewing this, this feelings between Radha and Mohan. And the Manjaris are so fortunate. They prepare everything that they can embrace. They did the whole day nothing than to, to arrange this meeting. And when Swamini is so, she cannot wait one second more. And even Mohan is, is in ecstasy for this meeting. And when this moment takes place, then the Manjaris, they see, wow, our whole world, this day was successful. They meet and they can feel these feelings of Swamini and yeah. this enthusiasm from both. But the enthusiastic is even more in Swamini than in Mohan. Sometimes he fell in unconscious because it's too much to him but she is never f falling unconscious she not only mohan would it the it's greater than mohan's love huh can feel what brother is And after Krishna is one doing to Radhika, how she is <laughs> Radhika is the kissing of Krishna, my dear. Radhika can. The love of Radhika, Krishna can feel that also Manjari is known. Mm -hmm. And what Radhika received from Krishna love, Manjari knows. This is Manjari. They know so much, they know everything. Because they are the ex what do you say? Bhava. Bhava. Avesh Murti. Avesh Murti of Radhika. Huh? Avec means what do you say in English? Embodiment of feelings. Embodiment of feelings. Mm -hmm. It's mind. Ecstatic. Mm -hmm. Now give chance to go to that. Rather, rather. So, um, Guru is just passing the ball around. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> um, how to start? Like, just beautiful to see how this sharing is becoming more and more condensed over the last weeks and months. And today, when Gaurav Sundar just shot the arrow straight with this beautiful verse, which they found the, how close the Manjaris are to Radharani, that they are considered as the Avesh Murti, and then the embodiment of ecstatic feelings. And then Janandaji picked it up so beautifully and explained that what are the Manjaris? They receive the feelings. They receive the feelings, what Radharani is feeling. And this is also what makes us 
close to our guru dev when we receive his feelings when we know exactly his feeling what he is is doing in his manjari seva and we can feel it and that the entire guru parampara is passing on this feeling through the diksha so i was just now really stunned by this beauty of realizations all of you have and tiny tiny maybe tiny flash came to me also when i was listening that i was thinking that radharani when she is in intimate loving affair with her mohan her feelings are at the highest stage right and normally when lovers meet they try to hide this they don't want they want privacy right and gurudev always says but the manjaris the manjaris are allowed to see it to feel it and radharani has no shyness in front of her maid servants that she sometimes i heard sometimes she even pulls them to the bed and covers them means she's so in oneness with them and they're so in oneness with her so what udav was just formulating that manjuri bhav is really higher than any bhav we know in this world right or in the spiritual world so this is kind of leelas when we are meditating or hearing about the leelas we understand how high that feeling is and then and then by mahaprabhu's mercy we can experience this in the human body and then comes this word avesh gurudev was speaking of bhav avesh when bhav enters into us then we have heard from so many saints mahajans how they go totally mad in ecstasy and mahaprabhu of course is the best example of bhav avesh and in hindi vesh means also close clothes our clothes so means then that moment like radharani is also putting that clothes on us like totally we are covered you know and we know that all her clothes her ornaments are representing feelings right her her blouse if i'm not mistaking is is red is passionate is rati right so in that moment we have to feel like also that her clothes are made of feelings and she covers us in that moment also fully in those feelings so i was just feeling like when we also meditate on each aspect of her on of course on her body on her limbs on her form but also her clothes have those bhavs so it's just um a very very deep ocean of feelings which aroused in this um, meditations and i'm very grateful to today that uh, you straight bring us into this because um, this is actually the way to develop our spiritual identity to grow more in in feelings and more more you know get this vesh get this covering of swamini's feelings on us i can remove our material covering and put and i can wear the covering of radhika hmm. material covering we are removing by listening our material covering are going out mm. at the same time because she don't want to keep without covering so she is giving her covering to us she gave the cloth red cloth red blouse why blouse this is also important because you have no feeling you have no breast you need the breast you need the blouse you need gopi bhav 
so it's and passionate gopi bhav that you don't leave that gopi bhav to come again in body consciousness so it should be full of passion to conscious cons to be always conscious that you are female and very passionately practice that <laughs> that you are good that is the red blow other gopi natra like spread <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Gurudev means we should always be very eager for prasad. <laughs> I like we should always accept everything from her because that will increase our feelings for her. Why? Why we have to accept prasad? Prasad is the mercy. Prasad is the when you eat, when Krishna eat, and what is left over, we say prasad. What rather eat left over is prasad. The beauty of born of prasad is left over. <laughs> left over of our somni is the real thing. Other without left over of our. All covering is not prasada, not mercy. It bring out from my material consciousness. So only her leftover blouse, leftover food, Fox. leftover ornaments. Is a jewel. Our ornament is no material ornament. Is a very costly ornament. Mm -hmm. Any our ornaments can change our life. Ornamenting our ornament is ornamenting us. Mm. Some special parts. That is ornament. The ornament. Manjuri also ornament to Radhika for Krishna. And she also. Give her leftover ornaments. You can imagine, Manjuri all the time when he's ornamenting to Radhika, only Radhika is meditating that this will make happy to Krishna. Do it immediately for me. Krishna will become happy with this. You can imagine what Radhika wearing because Krishna become happy, and after leftover, this ornament is giving to us. She gives us means some special that type of quality comes to her dasi mandiri. Then she ornament with that quality. There is a very deep meaning behind that. 
All the deep meaning, my dear. Deep meaning. So all you talk today, I am listening. Not my Prema Bhakti Chantrika says one more verse. You like? Should I read? Maybe not some uh, Gopina? Maybe we can invite also someone who wants to share on this point. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I will not take that. Uh, yeah. Please, yes. You're hearing us? Who is there? Yes. You are at the source of eagerness. <laughs> oh, not only. I not take water. No, no coconut oil. No water. Radhe? <clears throat> coconut. Suniti Didi? Yes. Some maybe someone else also wants to share? Yes, I was hoping that uh, somebody of Munge Mandir also would come forward. There are so many beautiful devotees. Yeah, many are here. You can see. Oh, wow. If this level talk, then talk. Not than four. Okay, okay. It's lower than this. Okay. <clears throat> Guru is saying we should continue on 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 this level. We were just sharing, and so. If you uh, want to bring lower now? No, no, sorry. no. We want no. I don't. We want it. we want to go higher, Guru. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get uh, Uda. Out of Manjiri Bhav, I'm not ready. Radhe, Radhe, I'm back. There is no sound now. What up? No sound. We cannot hear you, Udavji. <clears throat> no sound. We have no sound. No. No sound. <clears throat> Maybe something? No, that was Jaina Namaraj. No, we have no sound also. I have no sound. So then when we talk about the clothing of Radharani, 
Yes. When we talk about her red blouse, when we talk about her ornaments, her jewelry, and when we talk about her and her body and how she looks, all these different aspects remind us that the divine love in our hearts, like the divine love we just heard coming from the beautiful poem, it's not black and white. It's not a light switch that's on or off. It's very complex, divine love. It's very, has many different sides and forms and shapes and textures. And all of these are developing in us. This is our spiritual form developing in us. It has softness, it has hardness, it's sharp, it's round, it's fragrant, it's bitter, it's open, it's closed, it's afraid, and on and on and on. And all these aspects of Radharani's dress, her look, the way she talks, the way she feels, all of these belong to Manjari Bhav. These are what we're developing in, inside of us, in our hearts. And this is why we try to describe Radharani's activities, her lila, her feelings, because then that'll help us to develop those feelings inside of us so that we can develop our own uh, Monteri Bhav. This is where they say, Udav, you can talk anytime you want now. <laughs> Anybody want to share? I, I wanted to share something. And also, I hope I, I get uh, others inspired to help me to understand this more better. <laughs> I was the other day uh, reading that Mahabha, Radharani is Mahabha, right? The highest feeling which one can experience is she topmost. Now, Anandras Bhavaji is saying in Radhasa Sudhanidhi that Mahabhav is only possible in the parik Parakya mood. You cannot experience it outside of that. Means in the extramarital loving affair, Mahabhav can come to its topmost. And I was thinking, yes. Like love meets challenges. If love, if lovers can meet each other freely, then they also experience high feelings. But if lovers have so many obstacles, so many challenges, they have to keep the love secret from others. <coughs> and they need maybe the support of friends to arrange for them to meet. Then this is a completely different type of feeling of loving exchange so I was very um, yeah it was very beautiful to, to see that this is only possible in the Braja Leela right in the extramarital loving pastimes of Radha and Mohan and we cannot be put in any moral category which we know here in the mundane world so I was just hoping that maybe Jananda Ji or Suniti Didi, you could a bit more elaborate about this, what Nandras Bhava Ji is saying, that it's only possible to experience Mahabhav in the Parakya mood. <clears throat> Suniti, you want to say something? You want to share? <coughs> Maybe say something about Parakya mood so everybody understands. Yeah, you can explain better. Parakya, Swakya. 
<coughs> I try to explain. I don't know. <laughs> I'm crazy. I don't know. But、uh, so, Swakia means marriage relationship. Parakia is outside marriage relationship. So, sometimes if someone who e x p e r i e n c e marriage life also e x m a r r i a g e life, that person may understand more. For my, my, for my small experience, marriage life means. Husband thinking, oh, this lady, my wife is mine. Or wife thinking, oh, this, this man, my husband is mine. I can control this person. I can demand, oh, I'm wife, give me money. I want to buy j e w e l Hey, husband, I, want, I need my house. Please give me house. Hey, husband, I need to enjoy with you. Please give me your time. So, and then what's happening? Before marriage, They cannot, they cannot meet freely. Always have to appointment. So many expectations, many excitement is, oh, today I can meet my, my beloved. Oh, today I can enjoy, you know, something, something like that. But after marriage, So many o b l i g a t i o n is coming. You have to do this. Your husband, you have to work. Give me money. Give me a jewel. Give me child, children. Give me car. Give me house. So their kind of their loving feeling d e c r e a s e Why is that? Because they attract more. I sure am. They need more opulence. They need to enjoy. So, you know, the, in marriage wife, there's some duty. Husband take care of wife, wife also serves the husband, also take care of parents, take care of you know, relatives, take care of children, take care for school. So that's obligation bind us. And love it cannot do freely. So therefore, marriage life is love is decreasing. We understand marriage time is highest one sense. But after marriage, So many obligations, so we have to do this, we have to do. And then love feeling is very much decreasing. This is marriage life. For example, if I, if I married with wife, if, if say, k a r a b a t is there, hey, Jayananda, why don't you come back this time? Why you are staying in there so many days? Why don't you stay with me for some time? s Like, you know, like kind of, I have, oh, oh, I have to go back to Japan because of my wife. Or I have to work because of my wife. Or I have to buy a car or buy a house because of her. So my, my loving feeling is, 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 is something because, because I have to do this, this obligation. Make us little bind us. Not love. Obligation, duty bind us. 
Or for example, if say if I have if, if I have three kids, then what's happening? Wife uh, wife attention after having children, wife attention come to these three kids, not husband. Before marriage, my wife's concentration always me. But after getting children, wife's cons wife's concern is all, always children. Husband is last thing. Last thing. So like in Dwaraka, each each wife has ten ten son and one one daughter. Means eleven children. So. The Dwaraka's queen's attention is divided one twelfth. Krishna's attention is quite sim quite small because of children. If you have children, husband can understand this feeling. Oh, before getting child, my wife's attention always me. Mm. But after begotting children, my wife's attention always children. So, but, but parakia, gopi, no obligation. <laughs> because Krishna, Krishna did not give money to gopi. Gopi can say anything to Krishna. But same time, just hearing fruit, fruit sound, Gopi could give up everything. But wife difficult to give up. In Dwaraka, it's difficult to give up position of queen. Who can give up queen? It's very difficult to give up because, because of queen. Because Gopi is very humble, coward girl, coward lady. Barashram Dharma, according to Barashram Dharma, coward lady is not, it cannot consider it very high caste. Queen's more higher. So, therefore, Gopi does not have any obligation for Krishna. Because Gopi does not marry with Krishna. Sometimes Gopi could argue with Krishna. We are not, we are, you know, you are not taking care of me because we are not your wife. Sometimes Gopi can say like this. So therefore Gopi could freely act, free, Gopi can say anything to Krishna. And that Sometimes Gopi criticize Krishna. That criticism give uh, uh, this criticism give Krishna so much happiness. <laughs> so for example, Dwaraka, Krishna once said to Rukmini, "Oh, you are still very young. Why are you married with this kind of nonsense person? Who knows? Nobody knows." Uh, you know, who am I? Some people say, I am covered boy. Some people say, I am Kshatriya. Sometimes people say, oh, Krishna, you are stealing the butter, stealing clothes of lady. What kind of person you are? Your behaving is not Varunashanam Dharma. So some people say, oh, you may, you may, out of caste, because your behavior is not so right. So Krishna is saying to Rukmini, why don't you, why are you married with me? You are still young. You can find another nice, nice prince or king. And then Rukmini is so shocked. Krishna was saying some joke, joking. But then Rukmini was fell down. 
And then Krishna was so, so surprising because Krishna is accustomed to joking with Gopi. But、uh, Rukmiti take, take it so seriously. He fell down. So Krishna has to take care. Krishna appear for arm and take care of Rukmini. And then Krishna has to say, Oh, this is a joke, you know, you are my dear. This is a joke. I never, you know, I never divorce with you because you are my dearest. Krishna has to say like this. <coughs> so this, this Parakya Baba is very difficult to understand. Because, because many discussion occur, you know, because especially before, Baruna Ashram is so strict. Parakya, if, if God, Krishna is God, why he does Parakya Rasa? It's, you know, this immoral, out of Dharma. Lama Chandra is very nice because he f o l l o w Dharma. But Krishna Samhita does not follow Dharma. Actually, following, but it seems does not follow Dharma. But that person is more attractive, actually. Because he does not care anything, Krishna sometimes. That's part, if someone does not care, that person is so attractive. Why Nita is so attractive? Because nothing can bind Nita. Nita can go, Nita could go to Rika house or may go to, you know, Nita may go to prostitute house. He does not care. Even Nita does not have clothes in front of Marini. Sometimes he became baby, like a child. Completely mad after love of God to head. So that Krishna is so attractive. And in Braja, if Krishna g e t married with Gopi, is this attractive? Is decreasing because of Aishwarya. But Brindaban, why Brindaban nice? Aishwarya is there. But Madura, Madura Baba is so intense. Love Baba is so intense. Maha Baba is so intense. Covering Aishwarya. This is very attractive. If we see Krishna's four, four future, which Narayan does not have it. Sometimes people say, oh, Narayan is higher than Krishna. Vishnu is higher than Krishna. But our g o i t a b a s h a m a say, no. Krishna has 64 qualities. n a r a y a n has only 60 qualities. What is that? Prema Madhuri, Dira Madhuri, Benu Madhuri, and Rupa Madhuri. That's only possible in b r i n d a b a n Only possible in Parakya Baba. So, if we really think marriage life and outside marriage life, which Baba we can taste more? We, can, we, we don't think this is right, this is not right. We just forget it. What Rabin's feelings more higher? If nobody criticizes, 
or even criticize which feeling is more higher. This is parakia baba. But, but if society is so strict, they cannot accept this parakia baba. Therefore, after Mahaprabhu, there is some discussion among Parakia and Swakia. Even Jiva Gosami has to, Jiva Gosami had to write Swakia Baba sometimes. Because of, because his disciple could not understand. But now, in Kali Yuga, now our age, 2022, we are very fortunate. Because already our society is a little bit chaos. You know? And then we can more understand this Parakia Baba. This, this Parakia Baba is a very deep subject. I don't understand, honestly. But, uh, you know, if we feel if someone who marriage before marriage, which time is more nice? Myself and Karabati was discussing which time is best time for us. And then she's saying, oh, as we are so much after marriage without no money, no nothing. That time, most I'm happiest time, he, she, she, she told me. But if I someone get money, then someone attract about money, a position, not to concentrate this lovers. But no money, nothing, then we have to concentrate lovers. And also, at that time, we are one-pointed. Our aim is just spreading this, this Krishna consciousness. Same aim. So, therefore, if someone has so much money, so much position, it's dangerous, actually. Because loving feeling is decreased. So, therefore, why Acharya say Akinchana? If someone who does not have anything, that person is, can concentrate only Radha Mohan. But if you attract some money, you know, lady, man, car, house, position, fame, name, fame, prestige, that person cannot get Radha Mohan. Cannot get real love. This actually thing, very interesting. Of course, you know, great devotees, they may have so much money, so much opulent, <coughs> opulent but he, they may not attach anything. That is also, you know, their greatness. But generally speaking, Therefore, Braja, they don't have, they don't have anything. They have only Krishna, or they have only Radha. <laughs> Nothing else. So, which one is more, more, more sweet and more opulent, Parakya Rasa or Swagya Rasa? So, sorry, I'm. This is my small explanation. <coughs> Very Thank you so much. Beautiful explanation, Janamaji. Very beautiful. Very deep. And if we consider this from the position of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he came to share these deepest feelings that even Krishna cannot experience without the mercy of Shri Bhante Radhika. 
in Mahabhav was adding that uh, the Vipra Lamba Bhav, this uh, feelings of separation is so high that they, when they come together, then that then again they become Mahaprabhu because they are meeting in separation and expressing this. And um, I was always remembering that uh, the best, what I feel, explanation for this Parakya Bhav, what I have heard that touched my heart really was from Gurudev because he said they need us. This Parakya Bhav and the Maha Mantra that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give with these feelings is allowing the living entity to enter as a mandrari to really help. Otherwise, they never need a help. <clears throat> right? When you are married, you don't need help. You want to be alone. You want to be with yourself. Or then you have the children. But the paraki above that was given in the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's feelings of Radhika's feelings of separation of Mohan and Mohan trying to, you know, get the depth, the, the extent of this ecstasy that was really never been given before and only very rarely once in the day of Brahma, it says in the scriptures. But we can imagine that we are now so lucky that we can... Uh, somehow enter as a conditioned soul with the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our Guru Parampara of Radha Mohan, that we have the chance to, to help them. They really need our help. Sometimes Gurudev goes into that mood, and I always love this when my heart is jumping when I hear this mood. Once we were in the Swiss mountains, and then... Gurudev gave this bye-bye class, you know, the bye-bye class after some five days or so, then always the highest comes. And then he said, what, what are we still doing here? Why are we uh, sleeping in this illusion that there's something to be really gained here in the external world? They need us. They are waiting for us. Radha Mahan, they, they need us so they can, you know, have their pastimes on this highest level of meeting and separation. And so he was calling us back, like uh, in the mood of Srimati Radhika. She loves all her mandaris, and they are unlimited. But still, there's always some space for new ones. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I like this feeling. This is the highest I feel that, oh, for myself, I don't know, you know, if I have so strong desires to go back to get Godhead or not. Sometimes I forget. But for Shimati Radhika, when she needs me, when Guru Manjari needs me, oh, then I need to be there, right? Now I, I have to forget all my uh, external uh, uh, desires. I have to be there because she needs me. And lately... Gurudev was also hinting to this mood that he said, the mood of I need you is nice, is a good mood. No? This uh, bhav that, oh, Radharani, I need you and give me mercy and Guru Manjari, I need you and uh, please help me to get your moods and your bhav. But then comes this, this uh, mood that you are mine. And that is the mandaris behalf when they say, oh, don't worry, Shimati Radhika. I will take care of you when you lose your way. I will hold you when you slip. I will be there to find Mohan when you are in the separation mood. So this is actually, for me, the highest uh, mood that we can have in their, in their service that... Uh, you know, don't worry, Gurudev. We are there. We want to do what you want to do. Be done. I don't want to do what I need to do, what I think is good to do. But like you, Jayananda Maharaj, you always say, I'm crazy. I'm stupid. I just like to be a puppet. I will not think I will do what Gurudev wants me to do. So this 
for myself, I feel this is the highest uh, mood and this can only come when we enter into this uh, complete mercy of Shri Radhika's lotus feet and Guru Devi's lotus feet that we can come into this feelings of you are mine and then you need me because sometimes also in Vilap Kushmanjali in the purports we read it that when Krishna faints then uh, you need me because then I will do the services that you have taught me and that is only possible in this feelings of parakia or unwedded love uh, yeah. Beautiful, mm. Suniti Didi. You said it so nicely and explicitly that actually the Leelas in Parakya Bhav, there are so many nuances and so many expansions and varieties of the Leela which could not be in uh, any other form, right? All the actors, all the stakeholders, all the participants who are there to enrich the Leela, you know, from the gopis, of course, the mother-in-laws, the gopas, you know, when Mohan has to pretend he's tending the cows in Govardhan Hill, but he's only looking for the cave, the next cave where he can secretly meet with Radharani and the manjaris know where, uh, have arranged a meeting point already. All these varieties are only possible in, in the Parakya reality, in the Parakya realm. And I just remember there's um, a beautiful, uh, two beautiful shlokas, one in Chaitanya Charitamrita, where it's saying, Parakya bhave ati rasara ulas, means the highest joy of rasa is Parakya bhav. So that is the thing, because we want this rasa, we want this juice, we want this lila to be so rasic, and that's why Mahaprabhu showed us that in Parakya Bhav we can experience the highest joy of rasa. Radha Mohan can experience the highest joy of rasa, and we can also as Manjaris relish that. And another, I think, shloka which Suniti already described the importance of the Manjaris and the Gopis. I just like this very much, so I just wanted to share it. It's in also Chitani Charitamrita, it's saying. Saki bina e lila ra pushti nai hoy. Saki lila vistaria saki ashwadoi. Means without the sakis, these pastimes cannot be nourished. The sakis extend them and they make them relishable. This is what Suniti Didi was explaining. That no, no, don't me. <laughs> Copy that. You are giving this. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm just continuing. You're. <laughs> But Jananda Ji and you and Gurudev, of course, everything is coming from Gurudev, no? Like, he's making this for us more clear and visible how important the manjaris are, that the lila can be expanded and, and tasted and relished. And actually, in Chaitanya Chaitanya Rita, I'm so amazed that all the shlokas, when we now read them, and I read them 10 years ago or whatever, could never understand the depths of, you know, the hidden confidential meanings of this locus. But now, by Gurudev's mercy and by the association of all Eurasic Vaishnavas, it's really becoming more and more clear. Like, you know, going back to Chaitanya Chaitanya, we get to see what, what a treasure jewel it is for us, for our lives that we have, you know, we can go in and understand more and more that actually Manjri Bhav is so uh, infused in the in the in the shlokas of Chaitanya Charitamrita. But um, yeah, just wanted to like uh, share these two two verses because I, I felt they fit so beautifully what was being shared right now. Beautiful. This is all happening because Gurudev gave you his prashadi kanchuli. <laughs> Gurudev is asking for to repeat the shloka. Which one, Gurudev? Both. Parakya bhave ati rasara ulas. The highest joy of rasa is parakya bhav. Highest joy of rasa. 
and the second one guru sakhi bina a lila ra pushti nai hoy sakhi lila vistoria sakhi ashwadoy without the sakhis these pastimes cannot be nourished sakhis extend them and make them relish so this is this is this is the feature bus um i i don't know i don't know which verse it is but it's such a touch i just i just some wait time back i found it then i just noted it down but i didn't note down which verse actually interesting you know this is ulas what do you say yeah it's saying first bus i think ulas something ulas par kya bhav hai oti rasara ulas Nasara Uda. Yes. So <laughs> increasing Lasa. So Parakia Baba could increasing this Lasa. And uh, but Manjari Baba increasing more. Mm. Therefore we say Babo Lasa. Babo Lasa. So and swakiya rasa we manja we don't need you know swakiya rasa no manjari necessary but uh, parakiya rasa manjari is needed yes. and this manjari is babo urasa is highest so this feeling feeling has to increase parakiya rasa but the swakiya rasa difficult to increase in feeling this is in interest this uras rasa rasa ra uras and manjari is, manjari is baba uras and and jananda ji there is a beautiful uh, nuance to this what you just said that it increases you know when you think already radha and mohan are in the pinnacle of their bhavs <laughs> in parakya it still can increase and there's this one leela which in vilapu sumanjal is described when radha and mohan are in the kunja and radha rani is sitting on the lap she has arrived she has gone through all the obstacles of her abhisar through the dark night and she found the kunj the manjas bring her they they sit they place in next to mohan who has decorated the kunja and their excitement is on the highest and then radha rani sits on the lap of mohan and she looks into she and looked into his eyes and the feeling is so intense and what she sees she sees actually her own reflection but she thinks he another gopi she thinks that he's with another gopi like he said like, this parakya bhav is there also again more intensified and she thinks oh my god he's with someone else and she runs away and the mandris take her away and mohan is totally perplexed he doesn't know what happened right now and he's looking he's going to the mandris saying please help me i didn't do anything wrong this time please tell your swamini i didn't do anything wrong so as you said no it even it it just increases there's no end to it of the rasa and the bhav so it just came to me sorry Very beautiful nice. gopinath yes Very nice this is a uh, ud kalika valari when krishna says there's another boy and radhika says there's another girl and they are like kind of stuck in this mood no they see their each other's reflections in the beautiful aura in the beautiful skin in the golden you know reflection of of radhika's chest krishna sees oh she's with another boy and shrimati radhika also sees oh he is he he likes somebody else more and then rupa manjari has to uh you know she has to be the the helper in that situation she she feels that they are not happy because now they are both in a kind of man or this kind of you know uh, confused state and the, the lila cannot continue so then what to do then rupa manjari says to krishna hey mohan you don't have to look and twinkle your eyes at me i will not say anything to my swamini to make her feel uh, 
you know, that she has to give in to you. And by saying that, they both have to laugh. And then the, the, the situation is, is again smooth and the meeting can continue. Yeah, the manjuris nourish and extend the lila. This is an example of this. No, Gurudev? Yes? I can send you this. You are very proud of today. Very happy. All goes this to Gaurav He's the yeah. culp he's the culprit. Yeah. He's the instigator, Gurudev. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I fly Gurudev. <laughs> I love I love you. Love is flowing when we meet in this Zoom. Isn't all not together. German mind as I vow that you will fix it. <laughs> that I am proud of that. What I cannot do, you will do. My God, you do everything. I know this. I try to do it. But you will do it. That is now we become team, Gurudev. We make teamwork now. <laughs> that is the party of my Radhika. Now I want to show you in Russia also. I make the team in Russia also. <laughs> Radha 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 Charan Anuji Oh Russian Wow Wow Hey today I see Can you put them on the screen Gopina Yeah I'm doing Okay Radha 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 <laughs> now I am not alone <laughs> in Russia. Wow. Anyway, I know Govinda Mohi and some other devotees, but I, I already before I know them, I stayed in Radram, Radraman's place <laughs> and they have Namahata. Wow. Wow. Radhe, Radhe. <coughs> Thank you. All oh, glories to the assembled Good devotees. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's around uh, 70 devotees before 60 or still there. Yeah, we have to make this. Uh, in this day, also, a special subject. Mm -hmm. Not general subject, then it will decrease. Like this is a special point, is not discussed outside. Only this has to be. We have to keep this point in Wednesday also. We are <coughs> all welcome who like to share that. Right? This is my advice. Yes, huh? yes, Suniti Didi, Jananda Ji. Not general topic. General topic okay. will happen many subjects. Mm. Okay. One, One pointed. Baba La Sarati Gurudev. Yeah. How to get it? How, how to get the covering of Radha Rani? Yeah. Yeah. How to get the country? <laughs> uh, uh, if he's practicing, they are all welcome. I mean, not like, blame our Swamini. 
Yes, any realization, they are all welcome. Right? Okay, Gurudev. Yeah. Wow, nice. Thank you.